good evening all before starting today i just want to request you all to subscribe my channel and uh, in that way i will be more engaged to show you more interesting videos interesting sums and their solutions uh, it will definitely help you in your uh, academic career and uh, it's my own personal interest it was there long back to teach mathematics but somehow uh, due to the journey academic to the professional journey i cannot able to cope of the situation so i was more engaged in my professional life but after some time uh, when everything has been settled down a bit i got some time to uh to bring you some of my knowledges so that it will be helpful in your future or in your career in your academic life okay so nothing to stretch further uh, i want to uh, just come to my uh, today's session so today's session yesterday i finished with a uh, trick or you can say the technique of doing multiplication with a process with a technique of matrix method so there i feel i felt that uh, there could be some confusion may arise what i saw on yesterday two digit number cross three digit number and that i will explain uh, a little bit so that that confusion which may arise uh, can be uh, eliminated easily so here the example that i have taken 23 cross 321 that was the uh, sum that i have been explained yesterday so what i did i have taken a rectangle i have divided into three parts uh, vertically and one horizontally a uh, two two part horizontally there i have placed the number this way and i have further divided those uh, single uh, cells into two part by a diagonals by the diagonals and i place the multiplication of this number this way 2 cross 2 0 4 2 then 1 0 2 cross 3 0 so then after i did all the uh, sums by uh, taking the diagonals which is cutting the numbers in this fashion okay then what i did i summed up the numbers uh, of each individual lines that cut the numbers so this is 3 is a one number where it is 8 where it is 3 1 being carried over then it is 7 so this way i found the result so so confusion is that if i place the number uh, first this three digit number first and two digit number the second what would be the result let me show you so that the confusion that may arise can be eliminated so now i am writing the same sum keeping the arrangement reverse so i am keeping three digit number first two digit number so in that case what we should do so we'll we can write in this fashion also if i draw it like that as because two digit is this way and three digit is this way so if i put the number in this fashion whether the result will change or not we'll see that okay so we will divide this in this fashion so now the result will be 2 cross 3 0 6 here 3 cross 3 0 9 here 2 cross 2 0 4 here 2 plus 3 0 6 here 2 plus 1 0 1 0 2 here 3 cross 0 3 so okay up to this is okay now uh, as per the rule i will strike out the numbers diagonal which will come in the cell so this way now i add the similar person 3 you will 3 6 and 2 8 4 and 9 it is 
1 will carry it over 6, 7. Now you can see in any way if I put the number, the result will be the same. There is no change in the number. So there is no confusion whether you will keep it uh, this horizontal more uh, vertical less or in the other way. So the result will be the same. There is no change in the uh, result. So that uh, confusion may arise. So that why uh, yesterday when I was explaining, I thought it could be the possibly possible uh, means doubt may come in uh, viewers mind. So I just clarified it right now. So other uh, maths that I have given, you might have done it. Uh, okay, so I need not to do it uh, for you again. So you might have understand this kind of technique very easily. You can use it anywhere and uh, you will get good result and fastest result. Okay, now I come to my second phase of the uh, video that is I will explain some of the tricky sum and their solution. So first sum comes 19 is the second largest factor of a number. It says 19 is the second largest factor of a number okay so this is the uh, one condition which has only three factors the number which is having 19 as the second largest that number has that number has only three factors so second condition is that first condition is that the second largest factor is 19 and the number has only three factors okay uh, then what it says the difference between the largest and smallest factor we have to compute compute the difference between the largest number to the smallest number. So the the requirement of the sum is clear. The 90 is the second largest factor of a number which has only three factors. Now we have to compute the difference between the largest number to the smallest number. That is the uh, sum requirement. So uh, now if I, if I say this whether you will believe or not, I don't know. Any number, any number has always even number of factors. Now, if I say this, uh, there may be a confusion in uh, uh, viewers mind, how we can say. So, to prove it is very simple. If I take some of the example, some odd numbers or even number, I can, uh, I can show you that it comes always in even. Any number having even number of factors. How it how it could be. So, if I take any smaller uh, even number that is, let us say it is 20. So, if I want to get 20, there is a possibility is 1 into 20, there is a possibility is 2 into 10, there is a possibility is 4 into 5. So, and uh, these are the cases I will, I can get 20. 1 into 20, 2 into 10, 4 into uh, 4 into 5. In this way, I will get 20. So, how many numbers of factors is coming? Here it is 2, here it is 2, here it is 2. So, all are coming in multiple of 2. So, always it will get, it will give you uh, even number of factors. Now, I take some example, let us say 19. So, how will I get 19? 1 into 19. This is only factors. What here? 
number of factors is 2. If I take any other example, let us say if I take any random number, any random number, let us say 132, it is an even number. So, how will I get 132? It is 2 into 66, is it? Or it could be 4 into 33, is it? It can be 11 into 12, is it? Then it could be your, if I say 8, uh, 8 into, to round come in 8, rather it will come 6 into 22, it would come 6 into 22, it would come 1 into 132, there may be other possibilities, but till now, if I if I uh, say that all come in pair, all factors come in pair, as because all uh, numbers, all numbers are different. So I can say this is two, this two, this two, this all. So for any number, the number of factors will come in pair. But why I will get only three as a factor, where if we say that any of this number, if matches each other, then one count will reduce. So, for 2, there will be only one count. So, what is that possibility? That possibility only comes if the number is a perfect square. If the number is a, is a perfect square, isn't it? In that case, one single number as a factor will come twice, isn't it? Let us say if I take the example 4, so 4 it will come 1 into 4, 2 into 2, like that only. So here 2 different, so I will count it 2, but here 2 is coming twice, so the factor is will be counted 1 only, so there is a uh, odd number of factors, isn't it? So, if I now explain the the math which has given, if 19 be the be, uh, 19 be the um, uh, your uh, second largest uh, second largest factor and which is having only three factors, means A, B, C, only three factors where B is your 19, A must be 1, there is no other possibilities because 1 is always a factor for any number. So, what could be the C? If let us say if there is odd number of factors, we, we can understand that the middle number if I square out will give C. You take them to the 4, 1 into 4, 2 into 2. So, this number if I square out it will give 2. If I take any other number, let us say uh, 121, it is 1 into 121 or 11 into 11. So, if I square it out, I will get the largest factor. So, here also, if I take uh, the square of 19, it gives the largest number, that means C. So, what it would be? 19 cross 19, that means 9 9 is 81, 9 and 8 17. If I 9, 1, that means it gives 1, your 6, 3, 361. So, the largest number, the C would be 361. Okay. Now, as per the requirement of the sum, it says what is the difference between the largest and the smallest factor. So, here it is 361 minus 1, that is 360. So, here it is your answer. You, uh, you uh, definitely have understood my explanation and the sum. Okay. So, that's for now today. I will come with more interesting videos and some tricks also in later videos. Thank you for now. Please subscribe.